Mets host in the Braves, and the Braves are minus 126 on the money line. The Mets are plus 108. The over-under, 7.5 runs. The Braves, laying a run and a half on the run line, are plus 128, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, it has to be by two runs or more. And the Mets getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 154, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by one, you win. The two games in uh, New York, the Braves have taken both of them, 4-2 to two and 4-1. to one. Elder pitched twice against the Mets last year. Five and, uh, five and third, one run, one earn, they won 3-2. He struck out three. Six innings, four runs, four earned. They won 6-4. He struck out eight. Severino pitched against the Braves last year as a Yankee. Four innings, five runs, three of which were earned. They lost 5 nothing, and he struck out five. Head-to-head, -head, the Braves are 6-4. and four. They're on a two-game winning streak. The road team's on a three-game winning streak. The road team is 6-4. and four. The favorites won the last two games they played against each other. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line, while the underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is 6-4. and four. There have been four one-run games in their last 10. The under's hit in their last two. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the over-under is 7.5 runs. is also 5-5, five and five, and the weather for this game is supposed to be 54 degrees, 7 mile an hour winds blowing from the right to the left. The Braves are 3-2 and two in Elder's last five starts. He's got an ERA of four, averaging four and a third innings pitched, 6.2 hits, four runs, 3.2 strikeouts, 2.6 walks, one home run a game, and 75.2 pitches. He's given up home runs in two games, three in the last game that he was in against the Dodgers, and two in a different game against the Phillies. Uh, the over is 3-2 and two in his last five starts. For the Mets, they are 2-3 and three in Severino's last five starts. He's got an ERA of 1.8, averaging six innings pitched. They've lost his last three starts. The under is 3-2 and two in those starts. Six innings, 3.2 hits, two runs, 1.8 of which were earned, 4.8 strikeouts, three walks, and then 95.2 pitches. The Braves are 5-5 five five in their last 10. They're on a four-game winning streak. Six runs, five runs, six runs, five runs. Four runs and a win, five runs and a win, four runs and a win, four runs and a win. For the Mets, they are 2-2 two two in their last four. Seven runs, 12 runs, six runs, five runs. Four runs and a win, seven runs and a win, two runs and a loss, one run and a loss. This is one of those games that I, if Severino is in and Severino is pitching well, I think the Mets could take the first five because I think the Mets could get to Elder. But then when we get to the bullpen, it's just a matter of can the bullpen hold on. So... I would take the Mets on the first five, but overall, I would take the Braves with the money line, the Mets getting the runs, and I'd go under. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.